let's have some fun making some cute toilet paper roll animals. We're going to start with six farm animals. These are all materials you'll find around your house with, of course, the all famous toilet paper rolls. I have to fight to get these before my grandkids get them. They are hot materials for crafters. I'm going to cover my toilet paper rolls in construction paper. If you would rather, you can paint them with acrylic paints and let them dry. I'm going to measure how tall these are. I'm going to put my ruler here on the construction paper and draw a line. Then I'm going to cut along that line and use that strip of paper to cover my toilet paper roll. So I'm going to start by putting a piece of tape on the roll to hold it in place. You want it to be nice and straight with the edges of the toilet paper roll. I'm going to roll it up and I'm going to just cut it off after I've gone around that tube. And you can either tape it or glue it. And I think I'm just going to tape it. And that's going to go in the back of my animal. So this is going to be a cat. And I'm making it orange because my cat Tom was an orange Tom cat. That's original name, I know. <laughs> so we're going to take the top of our tube and we're going to kind of uh, cave it in on the front and the back side. And it will kind of make this little indented part on the top here. I'm going to kind of squeeze that. And that's going to be the ears of my cat. And I'm going to do this to all my animals, even if these aren't the ears. Even if I glue on some other ears, I'm probably going to kind of punch that in. So that's the top, and I'm going to leave the bottom open. So next I'm going to put a white tummy on my cat. I'm going to put that, on, of course, on the front. Hold it in place just a little bit to let it get set on there. Now I'm going to make the face of my cat. Do the best that you can to make a little oval shape like this. And that's going to be its nose. And I'm going to use googly eyes on this. So I'm going to leave some room for googly eyes and put my nose on here. I'm going to have to hold that in place just to make sure it gets all sealed down. So on my face, I'm going to make a nose and its little whiskers and things. So its nose is just going to be a little triangle with a point, one point going down. I'm using a black pen on here. You could use a black marker. There's its little triangle nose. We're going to draw a little scoop and a little scoop down from the nose. One's going to scoop to the left and one to the right. So I'm going to scoop down and now to the other direction to make its little mouth and it's smiling, of course, and some little whiskers going out. Sometimes they have like little dots here and where the whiskers come out. I'll put those on there. Oh, that's cute. So with the nose done, I'm going to put two drops of glue above the face to put on the googly eyes. Now if you don't have googly eyes, you can cut two circles of white paper and then draw your black dot in the center like this. It'll still be really cute. All right, there's our eyes. And lastly, he needs a tail. Tom had kind of a, or he had an all orange tail. So I'm just going to cut kind of a, a scoop and come back. And on the other side of the scoop, and his tail got a little bit more narrow on the end. So I'm going to narrow that down. I'm going to glue this on to the back of the cat. Like that. And then it'll kind of stick out. 
And that's the way he would always sit. If you want to, you could draw the inside of its ears right here with a little triangle inside of each ear. You could even put little pieces of pink construction paper triangles right there for, their, for his ears. And I'm going to go ahead and make some little feet that he'll sit on. So I'm going to draw around this circle to make it the right size. And then I'm going to draw some feet out from the front of it. So I'm going to draw around the circle. So the cat has these little three toe looking pads on its feet. And I'll cut this out just a little bit bigger than that circle. And then I'm going to put some glue around the outside edge and set Tom down on that and glue it. You would not need to put on feet if you don't want to. This is kind of an extra thing I just thought would be fun. I'm cutting around the circle a little bigger than my line so I will have some place to glue around his little toes. And you know what? This is silly, but I'm going to draw a little, a little toenails on there that I always had to watch for. It almost makes him look like a tiger. He looked like a tiger. He would go out hunting. All right, so now with that, I'm going to put a ring of glue around this bottom edge and then set the toilet paper roll on top of it. Let's see now. Okay, so I'm setting that down right on top. That ring of glue. So he has feet and a tail. And I'm going to let him sit and dry while we make our other animals. So there's our farm cat. Next we're going to make a dog. And my dog was a blue healer. And he was gray, but I don't have any gray construction paper, so I'm actually going to use blue to make my blue healer. <laughs> I already wrapped the toilet paper roll in construction paper because you saw how to do that already. But I did want to show you one more time how I push down the head. I'm going to push down the front and the back. I'm going to start with the back. And I pushed it over. And I caved it in. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the front. And I'm going to kind of pinch these into little triangles. And it will stay that way. Well, and that's going to be our dog's ears, just like it was our cat's ears. So let's cut the nose into a shape that's kind of like a three-leaf clover. Okay, so it's going to be a circle another smaller one, and a circle. See how it kind of looks like a three-leaf clover? Okay, so let's cut that out. So we're going to glue that onto our dog's face. It's going to leave room for those googly eyes. We're going to draw his nose up in this top part right here, just like we did with the cat. And it's also kind of a, a triangle shape with a little flattened bottom on the Fill that in. Can you see the shape that I just drew? And then, or this circle, and the, if you can pretend that these are two circles right here, we're going to draw a line from the nose down to where that one starts and down to that. So you can see how it makes kind of like a circle shape here from that three-leaf clover. And we're going to put his little mouth right here. I'm going to just kind of draw some little lines on there so you can tell that it's open. And my dog always had a tongue coming out, so I think we're going to make a little red tongue here in a second, or a pink tongue. And we'll draw, similar to the cat, some little dots here where the whiskers come out, and then some little whiskers. Next, we need some googly eyes. 
So two spots of glue above the two little nose area circles. All right, there's our dog. It's getting going there. And this time I'm going to draw, I'm going to cut two little triangles from pink paper. And we're going to put them where the ears are. Okay, so there's the inside of his ear and the inside of his ear over here. And I will make a little pink tongue. So the tongue will come down out of the mouth. My dog was always running and always panting with his tongue hanging out. I'm going to draw a little line down the center of it like a tongue has. I'll draw some little eyebrows up here. But I'm going to make him a little collar. We always had a leather collar, so we're going to make a brown collar. Hope this is going to be long enough to go all the way around his neck. So I'm going to cut just a little narrow band of paper and then we're going to wrap that around right underneath that tongue. And we had a little tag that said our information on it in case somebody would find him. I'm going to make it in yellow. So there's his tag. <laughs> you could put your dog's name on there if you could write small enough. Let's go ahead and make him a little set of feet like we did our cat. And then we're going to make him have the same kind of little three-toed paws. And there he is. I went ahead and cut out a tail for my dog that's very similar to the one on the cat. And we'll glue that to the back of our dog, our puppy dog, ready to guard our house for us. How about a pig next? I have my toilet paper roll covered in a light pink paper and I have a little bit of darker pink paper or you could use white and I'm going to draw the pig's nose almost looking like a pretzel. It's going to be an oval on the top and it's going to kind of dent in on the bottom and cut that out. And that's going to be the pig's nose. I'm going to go ahead and draw on it before I put it on. I'm going to draw around it that way because it's pink on pink. And then I'm going to draw two holes in the nose, which are just two dots that I filled in. And then glue that onto the face. And the googly eyes are next. Okay, got a little too much glue on that. Now I'm going to make some little ears that stick out of the side of my pig. The dark pink. You can use plain pink, the same color that you use on the pig. But pig's ears are, they kind of stick up and then they kind of scoop down. And then I need a little piece that's going to glue onto the side of the head. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer. This is really going to be the ear right there. And since I want them both to be the same, I'm just going to fold my paper in half and cut two out at the same time. Okay, so now I have two ears. I'm going to fold back the little flap that I made that I can glue on like that. And let's just draw that little inside part of the ear like this. It's just a line that kind of hugs the inside of the the ear like that to look like the inside of the ear. Put a little bit of glue on the end that we made extra to glue on. And it's going to stick to the side of the head right up here. And then kind of stick out. Put glue on this tab also. And glue it on. And let them stick out. Now how about some feet for this guy? Draw around the base to make your circle. And then the pig's feet are kind of just like have two little kind of straight out little curves in, like a little V that kind of curves a little bit. I'm going to cut the circle a little bit big. 
We're going to draw just little hoof marks here and make our glue circle and then set our pig on the glue. Well, I almost forgot on my pig that we need to put the tail on. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. I'm going to make a little circle, glue on to the pig, and then I'm going to make it a curly cue. The curly cue tail that comes out and clip it off because I don't need it to be too long. And I'm going to glue it to the back of the pig with my glue. I'm going to have to hold it for a second so that it stays connected and doesn't fall off. There's our pig. Oink, oink. I covered another toilet paper roll in brown paper. This is going to be my cow. How now, brown cow? You can make this white with, and make black spots on it if you'd like, but the cattle that we've raised have been in shades of brown, so that's why I chose that. I'm going to draw my nose similar to my pig but I'm on some pink paper. And the cow's nose is kind of like a rectangle that's rounded on the edges and just a little bit smaller on the bottom than the top. Okay, and it's going to have two nose holes that are kind of slits like this. Kind of long slits that are slanted down like that. I'm going to cut that out and then glue this on for googly eyes. I'm going to go ahead and put on a white tummy on my cow. And the cow's ears come out pretty big from the side of the hair, from the head. I'm going to make that ear come out. I'm going to make a little tab that I'm going to be able to glue on to the, to the cow. So I'm going to make this little tab, which is like a little, little rectangle area here. And then I'm going to make the ear kind of like a, a big leaf. It almost looks like a leaf. And since I want two that are exactly alike, I'm going to fold my paper in half and cut them out at both at the same time. Now I think I'm going to put a little pink spot in the center, which are just going to be little ovals. Okay, so now I made those little tabs on the end. I'm going to fold those back, and that's where I'm going to put my glue. Oh, I like how that looks. So all you have to do is, after you draw your ear, just add a little section on the end to be the tab. So you have something to fold back and put on as ears. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on a little um, milk bag on the bottom. And I'm going to make a little pink oval here. You can leave this off. This is optional. And you can draw four little circles on there, which would be the udders that the baby would drink milk from. I found some real small little white pom-poms. I'm going to use those to glue on. That's optional. You could just draw little circles. I'm going to let those glue the glue dry on those just a little bit while I make her the cow's tail. And a cow has like a little bit of more of a skinny tail with a larger end on it. I'm going to make that have a little bit of that hair on the end. And that's what they swish flies with. So I'm going to put glue right there on the end and then put it on the back of my cow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front of the cow. I am going to go ahead and put my cow on a base. Draw on some little black hooves on the end here. Set my cow down on it and let it dry. There's my mama cow. Oh, we're getting a whole group of animals up here. This is going to be fun. We're going to make a lamb. So we're going to start with its face, but since it's black, it usually has a black nose. So instead, I'm going to make its nose, cutting an oval, make it out of blue just so you can see it on top of the black. By the way, you can make your animals colors that aren't the real colors. You could make your lamb purple if you want to. So I've made my pig pink, but you could make it orange if you want, just for fun. All right, so I've got its nose on. And I'm going to go ahead and make the little nostrils, which are kind of like little V-lines. See, I'm going to make its little nose around that. And then go ahead and make its little smile lines. So its little mouth kind of goes up like that. And then we're going to put on its googly eyes. And then I'm going to put on some ears. And I'm going to make those out of black paper. I'm going to make a little tab, a little rectangle tab. And then an ear that kind of looks like 
a leaf, very similar to what the cow ear looked like. And I'm going to cut two of them at once. There we go. Okay, here's some little pink inside areas on the ears. Just little ovals that fit in the center, just to make them look interesting. And let's make the sheep a little pink nose. I've made like a little rectangle that's rounded off on the edges to be a little nose that we're going to glue on here instead of just leaving it all blue. And I'm going to glue that on over the one I drew earlier. I think I will like this better. That's part of doing craft projects is kind of adding things on the way you like it. And glue my ears on there. But I have been really liking how the liquid glue dries and holds things in place. It works better than tape. You can experiment with a, a glue stick if you'd like, but this has worked really well. Let's get the feet on here by drawing around the base and making our little, I'm gonna make it have little hooves. Cut it out, you know the routine. Okay, so now I have its feet on already. So now we're going to put the cotton around its body. So I'm taking my cotton balls, I'm kind of pulling them out a little bit, and I think this is where this liquid glue is going to come in really handy because I'm going to make its body covered with this cotton. I'm going to puff it up a little bit. I thought I'd put one on the front like this since it's so big. It only takes one of them. So let's put on quite a bit of glue here to hold this in place. Okay, so I'm pushing the cotton down into the glue to hold it in place. <laughs> That's cute. I'm going to turn it over on its face and do one more cotton ball on the back. I'm using quite a bit of this glue. Oh, and I think he need he or she needs a little bit of, of that cotton on top of its head. Yes, that's just what it needs. There we go. <laughs> that's cute. There's our lamb. Lastly, we're going to make a chicken. And I wrapped my tube in yellow paper. You could do white or brown or orange, any color you'd like to make your chicken. There's lots of different types of chickens. We have a little fun face to make. We're going to make a beak. I'm going to fold my paper in half. And from the fold right down here, I'm going to cut a little triangle shape. And then I'm also going to make the little waddle or the part that drops down under its beak. And it's kind of round on the bottom and it doesn't have an exact shape. So it's going to drop down underneath. And then we're going to glue just the bottom part of the beak down so that this will flap open and look like its beak is open. And then the two eyes are going to go on top of the beak, of course. So two little glue spots to put our Google eyes on. A comb that goes over the top has kind of a jaggedy edge on the top. So I'm going to use the straight part of my paper and I'm going to draw. It's going to start out kind of small and get almost like mountains. Up and down, up and down. It gets taller and it's going to go down. We're going to cut this out best that we can with that up and down shape. So I'm going to fold a little part of it over like this to glue it on because I wanted to put it up from right here above its eyes and bend it over. Okay, I'm going to have to, where it bends, I'm going to need to make a little clip so it can bend here and it's going to bend over the top and then it's going to bend down here and where it bends I have to make a little clip down to to there. Okay, a little piece of glue that goes up and over the top. And I kind of bend it up so it stands up. Kind of like a mohawk. Up and over its head. Ta-da! Good job, Mr. Chicken. Okay, so we're going to put his feet on. Bert, the chicken's going to have those little feet that have three little toes, I guess. But they're kind of pointed toes. Chicken has kind of claws actually. I'm calling them toes. And set our chicken on there so it has its feet. I'm going to make a tail for my chicken. 
and I think I'm going to use the colors of construction paper that I've used on the other animals. And I'm going to cut out kind of a couple feather pieces and then we're going to glue it on the back so they kind of fan out a little bit. And I need to leave a tab on the bottom so I can glue it on my chicken. So I'm going to make that tab down here and then I'm going to draw a couple feather pieces like this. And since I have several of them, I'm going to cut them all at one time. I'm even going to cut them down like that into the, almost to the tab. And then when we have them all cut out, I'm going to just fan them out. And I'm going to kind of glue them to each other to start with. And then glue them all onto the chicken. Okay, then I'm going to fold this down to make a tab. And then I'm going to have to fold these up so the feathers go up on the chicken here. So we'll kind of do that more after it's glued on. Okay, so here's my tab. I'm going to put some glue on my tab. I'm going to have to hold this on for a minute to get it to stay on my chicken. What do you think of that? I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> There we have our chicken. All right, let's set it down so it can dry, and then we're gonna look at all of our different farm animals together. Here's our kitty, here's our dog, our pig, the cow, our lamb, and our chicken. Wasn't making cute toilet paper roll animals fun? If you'd like more craft ideas, come on over to welcometonanas.com and join the fun.